Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to FTD Speaks. So here is another Ramadan themed episode where we're gonna be looking at a non-Muslim bodybuilder who ended up fasting. Hey, you ready for it? For the next Active five black days, dad. I'm gonna be attempting to fast for Ramadan. Okay. So what is Ramadan? Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim year where Muslims abstain from food, drink, cigarettes and intimacy from dawn until dusk for 30 days. And for what I've been reading, it seems like it's more of a spiritual thing than a physical thing. By giving yeah. up the physical things that you always rely on gives you a chance to look at yourself deeper on a spiritual level. It's almost like a spiritual cleanse, not just about not eating. The same way that doing 419 and then going to church doesn't really work. I know a lot of you are thinking, but gay, you're not Muslim, so uh, why are you doing it? My answer is this, all right? So there's a lot of Muslims that watch my channel, yeah? So there's a lot of them going through Ramadan at the moment. And it's really easy to kind of just put out information and you're like, oh, if I was in that situation, I would do this. All right, so show me. Oh, shit. I mean, like, if, because... Theoretic, if you you do you get him to do you wait do let's avoid that <laughs> yeah so I'm just gonna try it I've actually done a Ramadan video probably about two or three years ago where I talked about my theories behind my whole theory was damage control when it comes to the gym you're not looking to put on more muscle you're not looking to get shredded you're looking at damage control and as with any kind of like challenge video or whatever there's always going to be one douchebag in the comments that's going to be like oh well you should have done the full 30 days oh well you should have done 21 days oh five days isn't enough to shut up sick of your sh there is one thing that might be an issue with this whole process so recently i've been experiencing like acid reflux ibs type oh. conditioned in my stomach so we'll see how this goes mm -hmm. just let's you see know. just warning you you know and so he begins drafting his master plan <laughs> Let's start riding. My flow will spring the tide in. My John Cochran, break your pride in. Okay, so here's the plan. Nine o'clock, we're gonna break the fast with dates. Then gonna have an air fried chicken, rice, and veg meal. Then head to the gym for 9 30. One hour later. Get home, bang a protein shake, easy to digest. Probably couscous, veg and chicken, keep the fiber levels accurate. Probably add some healthy fats in there as well. Walk around for a little bit, let it digest. Aim for bed around 11.30. 11.30, bed. Up at 4.15. 4.15. Crunching up, banana, peanut butter, protein shake, and probably some other stuff to just Hey, you've got some healthy bed. options there. And of course, Water. Drink a hell of a lot of water. Yeah. And that's it. Easy as pie. You know what to do. Smash the ting, yeah? And if you Smash need supplements, it's 35% <laughs> off funny. my protein using the link in the description. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm I just... Jerry Cam was in school, so we can see... Well, it's his son. Uh. Right I am hungry. <laughs> I am hungry and I am thirsty. And I, I, mate, when it was like around about nine o'clock, maybe even 8.30, I was like, I got this easy. It's not that long. It's only just over <laughs> 12 hours only. Do you think daddy can do it? Yeah? <laughs> you don't look very convinced. Nice to know that family has your back. So anyway, take my mind off things. That I think that's what I just need to occupy my mind with loads of other stuff and just try and not think about not think about the fasting. food and water side of things. Yeah. When you think about it, you get I'm super hungry. hungry. I want some food. I'm hungry and I want some flipping food. I can't do this. You can't, you can't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and they 
get that big, they're, they're not cute anymore. <laughs> oh, I need to make bigger, bigger, bigger. Not too big. I mean, it's time for you to. <laughs> Sometimes I get a copy or some next one I can't say properly. I'm so hungry I'm biting my lips. Flipping I'll just get a portion of chips. I didn't think you were gonna do it, you know, if I'm honest. But yeah. <laughs> to be honest, you get used to it. But it's one of those things where you um you need to be disciplined basically. But you'll be fine though. You your body gets used to it very quickly. The hardest bit is getting through lunch because you're usually used to eating something at that time. Yeah. So I don't know, like it's a psychological thing where your body tells yourself your mind tells yourself, Oh yeah, it's lunchtime, I'm hungry. But once you get used to that, it becomes much easier. Thanks, bro. This isn't the first thing that I've picked up from this from this whole process. A learning experience so to speak rather than trying to wish time away try and focus your energy more on what can actually help you in the long run true kind of thing be more wish focused. time away like, have, have more focus on, on yeah i don't know that's just the first observation thought slash whatever i'm hungry ah oh, i'm just oh, it's pissing me off now mm -hmm. I just want to eat don't care about nothing else just want to eat. <laughs> Seven o'clock, two hours left. Let's start prepping my food at 8.30, which I'm excited about. <laughs> oh, mate, I don't know how people do this for 30 days. Really it gets don't. easier. It gets easier as the days go by. <laughs> it's time. It's time to eat. I'm gonna break my fast the traditional way. So I've got the dates right here. The dates. And yeah. then I'm gonna have some water. I've got this big uh, my protein jug, which I think is about four liters. So I'm gonna aim to get through that before the fast starts again. I've never had dates before either. I don't even know what they taste like. What? No, You've Jordan never had man, dates? Man, They're so I good. I've tried these before. Bro, I love them in cereals. Throw them in some cereal. I feel so good. <laughs> 200 grams of chicken, 100 grams of rice, and then veg mixed in with the rest. Mm. I had to stop myself from turning into like hangry gape. Like that's more terrifying than a Hulk. Meal done, now it's time to train. Okay, oh so gosh. he's keeping up his workout routine too. Splendiferous. Yeah? Hey, you like that word? <laughs> <laughs> so kind of on schedule, I signed up to the gym group, which used to be Easy Gym, the one I used to go to in West Croydon, just so I can train at these times because I don't think King's Opens past like 10 or whatever. I love the way your nails look good and your body look cute. Yeah, I love the way it's like that. Hands up in the clouds on my mountain top. Yeah, I love the way it's like that. One thing I have noticed is the urge to want to go hard because that's all you've been doing for God knows how long. Holy but it's, shit. Look it's at this guy's arms. Urge and kind of playing it by ear. So it's not so much about ruling out, like, you know, that like going hard in your workouts and stuff because some people might be able to handle it um it's just one of those things that you have to honestly play by ear i feel but again it's just the first day so we'll see what happens all right so we have got 200 grams of chicken uh with a satay sauce i've also added 10 ml of olive oil lemon and coriander couscous and some of the baby corn from earlier along with one of these I actually had one already, so this will be the second one. So far, the whole acid reflux and uh, IBS stuff is, is subdued. So, um, touch wood. Day two. I bid you good morrow, my fine people of YouTube Wade. Today feels better. Today feels a bit better. 
What's funny is I had a really short eating window, right? And still managed to clock up 3,000 calories. Yeah. But he's staying active though, so that's good. I, was, I think I was meant to. They're, they're so tasty though. They're so flipping tasty. I actually feel really good today. Apart from the fact that I really just want to have a drink of water, like my energy levels are quite sustained and it was actually quite a productive morning. I got a lot of stuff done that I've been putting off. I uh, take it back. Started feeling like dizzy spells, which happened yeah, yesterday, but back. happened a lot earlier. So a lot earlier, yeah. I guess that, that feeling is getting pushed back. Do you, do you think that he's going to do it? Yeah? <laughs> I was just about to put my food in and the air fryer wasn't working. I, the rage that just went through my head if that air fryer didn't work. <laughs> Day three. I've started getting that IBS trapped wind feeling, which I thought I had escaped. Oh, it's not like really bad, but and today, this morning of all mornings, I've got a really important meeting this morning, and it's probably the worst time for it to happen. And it normally happens. And he's got gas. It happens in the morning. So it's like, what are you trying to do to me? Farted out, bro. Like this time Fired yesterday, out. I think it was yesterday. <laughs> I was like sat down a lot of the time, so I was like editing and doing stuff like that. Today, <sighs> doing a lot today. My mouth has been so dry all day. We got this through and through to the end. Today was quite possibly the hardest day so far. Even when it came to breaking my fast, Tamar was there. I did not care. I didn't want to pick up the camera for shit because I knew it was going to delay my eating time. That was quite possibly the worst workout over the past few days. Day four. Hear that lions. Wilson, where are you? Final day. <laughs> oh my goodness. So day four was a nightmare. Huh? Water, then I'm going back to sleep. I'm really flagging today, and I think that's for one reason. I didn't eat as well as I could have done yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was just complete. Bleh. So the challenge is pretty much done. I'm ready to break my fast for the last time. The last I'm not time. Happy about it. But big up and I rate all of the Muslims that do this for 30 years. Same. Days. Honestly, Especially man. So much respect. Well. I didn't do any of the prayer stuff. Like, yeah. But just a few things that I think I've taken away and you can also take away from this experience. Number one. I don't think the not eating and drinking was a problem because I was hitting my calories for the day and I was hitting my water for the day. I think it was the sleep, the lack of sleep that was mounting up. So I'm thinking maybe if I had more naps during the day, but then it's a lot harder with like Elijah around and stuff like that. So oh, yeah. that's number one. He has a son. Keep myself busy. Like I, I saw that there was increased focus on like the tasks that I was doing until, until I got really hungry. But before that, it was great. Number three, the quality of my food increased because I wanted to make sure that I was getting the best kind of nutrition to sustain me through yeah. the day. So like the whole IBS acid reflux type of thing, apart from that one day, which is kind of like borderline, it wasn't as bad as it was, it kind of dissipated. Number four, like I said in the beginning, I feel the training is more about damage control. You're just looking to preserve as much as you can for that 30 days because the sleep deprivation is what's the killer. So I guess my tip here would be put as much stress as possible onto the muscles without exhausting yourself, if that makes sense. So I did like, what, two sets of 
two sets of five on the compound movements and then just little bits here and there, nothing major damage control. But it was interesting, I could see the benefits of doing it for 30 days, including the prayer mm -hmm. and stuff, but I am done. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, smash the ting, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. All right. Okay, so this is a different look of a non-Muslim fasting for Ramadan. Well, not the whole month, but five days, you know, Monday to Friday. And we've reacted to a couple other ones like this, but I think this one was a little bit different because this guy is uh, a bodybuilder, you know, he's into fitness, he's, he's active. So that had to play a part in his daily routine as well. And he didn't put as much energy into the workouts, but it was, he was still, you know, staying active. And uh, also he had some pretty good prep, like he had his, uh, his meals, his calories counted out and everything, and he stayed hydrated and all that. So he took a pretty healthy approach to Ramadan, which was uh, pretty impressive. He wasn't taking it like, oh, whatever. Uh, he was actually pretty serious about doing it. And uh, at the end of it, it's like, wow, you know, to all the Muslims who do this, for 30 days, the whole month of Ramadan, he's like, oh, big respects. And I feel the same way too, you know? And uh, so like when I see trainers like this, people who train intensively, or and when I see athletes, you know, who are exerting so much energy to play their sport, uh, you know, my level of respect goes like way up because you're constantly being active, but you don't have as much food energy going into you plus at the same time uh, if you're a muslim athlete you're also breaking to do the prayers so that is another level of commitment that honestly gets like mad respects from me it's like fist bump fist bump so yeah uh i guess that's uh it uh i think it was uh, a very eye-opening uh, experience i would say watching this and what i mean by eye-opening is that you get to see, and I think he did a really good job of documenting it, the different moods that you go through. Like, wow, I feel good today. Oh, actually, take it back, take it back. No, I don't feel good. Uh, and oh, the sleep deprivation and, and everything. Like, I think he did a, a good job documenting that. So it's not necessarily just like, a, uh, you know, a straight line. You're going to go the ups and the downs and hopefully ends off with a, a high and uh, yeah so i uh, that's what i got from this one it's not just smooth sailing and it's okay to feel the ups and the downs and it's also okay to feel that frustration you know part of ramadan is to control those and it doesn't mean you're not going to get those frustrations and the anger like i just want to break my fast uh, but it's like what are you going to do with that you know you're learning how to handle these kind of emotions without just lashing out and just giving in like okay i'm gonna break it yeah really good video guys uh thanks for suggesting this one to me and if you have any future suggestions of videos that you want me to react to send them to me on instagram you can follow me the link is going to be in the video description section send me all your videos video links in the dm and i'll do my best to get back to them as quickly as possible okay awesome hanging out with you guys as usual i'll see you in the next one later